Howdy folks, Josh here with The Weekend Angler, back with another Short Tip Saturday video and our next installment here on Project Drift Sock. Guys, in today's video we're going to be installing monster rod holder bases on this 14 foot aluminum john boat. We're going to be using the rounded gunnel bases put out by monster rod holders and I'm going to show you my method of mounting them to the boat, that way we don't have to worry about them coming loose. So let's get started. Alright guys, if you've been following the Project Drift Sock series at all, you know we've spent the past few weeks getting the trailer back up to roadworthiness. With that complete, we're now ready to focus our attention on the boat itself and get it ready to catch some fish. So the first thing I wanted to do was get some monster rod holder bases installed on this boat so that I can use some rod holders on it if I decide to do so. So the product we're going to be installing today is the Monster Rod Holders John Boat Gunnel Base. Now these are specifically designed to fit the rounded top rails found on most of your aluminum John Boats. And the problem you run into when installing bases like this on these rounded rails is you can't get to the underside of it to install a nut onto the bolt to securely attach the base to the rail. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be using something called a riv nut. What a rib nut is, is a special threaded insert that uses a special tool to install and that will put in a set of quarter inch by 20 threads into that aluminum John Boat rail and it make it virtually impossible for that rod base to pull out. So guys, let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you the tool we're going to be using in this project along with the threaded insert. We'll get everything lined up, get it marked, get these bases installed. We'll get some rod holders on this boat. So let's go. Guys, in today's video we'll be using a drill with a 25 64 drill bit, a center punch tool, the rib nut installation tool, and quarter inch threaded inserts. You will also need a Phillips screwdriver and some blue Loctite. When installed properly, the threaded insert mushrooms out on the inside of the rail and is virtually impossible to remove. Alright guys, the first step is going to be figuring out where we want our rod holder to go. Now I'm going to be mounting a traditional base back here on the corner brace of the John Boat. So we want to stay a little bit further away from that. And I'm thinking somewhere even with about the end of this seat should be a good spot for our second rear rod holder. So all we're going to do is measure back. We'll center that up. And we're going to use a center punch to mark our holes. Alright guys, you can see our two center punch holes there. Next we're going to be using a 25 64 drill bit. And we only want to drill through the top layer of this. Don't go drilling all the way through the boat. That will cause you problems. And one. And two. Is there. Thread one of our inserts onto the tool. Pop that down into the hole. Put it in. All right. Now that our holes are threaded, we're ready to go over there. We'll go ahead and get our hole started. We're going to just put a little bit of Loctite on there. Through. Get one started. Get our next one. Line those down. Have that installed we can go ahead and install our rod holder install like they would just in any normal monster rod holders base Get that turn the direction we want snug down the lot 
we are now ready to go. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up today's project. These bases went on seamlessly. Those rivet nuts are doing their job holding the base securely. And we are not going to have to worry about losing rods and reels because of a rod holder pulling out of the jumbo. I'd like to thank Steve Douglas, Monster Rod Holders, for getting these bases to me so quickly. I ordered them on a Wednesday. I had them Friday afternoon. They were ready to get put on. So, guys, as always, I want to thank you for watching my videos. If this one's helped you out, please take a moment, hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe and the bell. That'll give you notifications anytime I post a new video or go live. Guys, if you have an idea for something you'd like to see me cover on Short Tip Saturday, please leave it below in the comments. I'll do my best to get it answered for you, and you may get to see your answer in an upcoming video. Guys, that's all I've got for today. I'm going to finish getting these put on the rest of the boat, get this thing ready to catch some fish. Guys, until next time, we'll catch you out on the water.